Hello everyone, today we have with us a personality who does not need any introduction. Having come from one of the remotest places of Nepal, Solukumbu, Mahakalung Rural Municipality. He has established his own trekking agency in Kathmandu and has been organizing different trekking and tours to different parts of Nepal. He is none other than the Managing Director of Himalayan Wild Treks, Mr. Ganesh Kulum. You are welcome in the show, sir. Um, thank you very much. It's kind of you that you invited me in your show. Happy to be talking to you. Thank you. What are you busy with at the moment, sir? Uh, what are your activities? Well, I'm having a very busy schedule at the moment. Basically, I'm the managing director of Himalayan Wild Tracks, which is a well-established tracking company in Nepal. I'm always busy negotiating with clients across the world. Meanwhile, I'm, I have started blog, blog writings which consumes a lot of time for me. Now, there is a sort of a lockdown mm -hmm. in Kathmandu. Yeah. People are not freely allowed to go outside mm -hmm. of their houses. So, yeah. how are you utilizing your time at the moment, sir? I'm having a big amount of time at the moment. Global pandemic is there, which has affected basically tourism in hotels. So, the impact is there and it's unavoidable, but then again, I'm um, continuously interacting with the clients across the world, tracking related plans are going on. Right now, I'm just hoping that pandemic will end so that I can start organizing trekking as usual very soon. We have come to <coughs> learn from your Facebook post that you were in Mahakalung a short time ago. Yeah. What was your purpose behind visiting Mahakalung, sir? Well, I had two reasons, basically. It had been long that I have not been to Mahakalung. And I did not visit my parents back in Mahakalung. So I wanted to visit them. I feel rejuvenated every time I meet my parents. I basically feel blessed meeting them. The second reason is very trekking related. I had a plan to visit a couple of famous trekking spots in Mahakalung. As you might know, Savneto is one of them. It was my plan to visit Sahune Cho, enjoy the spectacular mountains view from there and make a short informative video of this beautiful place in Mahakalong. So, so what were the challenges that, that you faced on the journey? The weather was not friendly at all. It kept raining the whole time because of which our team could not make it to Silucho, located at 4,156 meters from the sea level, along with the Holy Lake Salpa. The area was covered with cloud the whole time and nothing could be seen. So we simply returned from Saune, which is a famous trekking destination in itself. So what do you think are the major highlights of Mahakalung trekking? The culture of Kalung people is mixed with that of Serfas and other ethnic groups which is like a beautiful mosaic. In addition, 
Siluto and Salpa are most visit places. Mahaklung trekking can also take you to Everest Base Camp trekking, which is one of the famous trekking destinations in the world. The landscape of Mahaklung offers heavenly beauty and because of its peacefulness. It can be just the right trekking spot for spiritual trekking as well. Then would you mind elaborating on the landscape of Sahune a little bit? Well, it has a flat landscape. Such a flat land where hundreds of helicopters can land at once. And uh, with a slight repair, even airplane can land there. It's amazing to think how such a flat land is naturally formed. Above the hills, it can also be turned into a football stadium located at the highest altitude in the world. When we have many world famous tourist destinations in Solukumbu, what makes Sahonecho a must visit tourist destination in your perspective, in your view? Yes, you are right. There are many famous tourist destinations in Solokumbu. But let me tell you, you will find the amazing landscape of Mahakalung nowhere else in Solokumbu. It is a mysterious naturally built flat land that triggers everyone's mind. Also Sahune is a perfect viewpoint from many mountains and peaks. Uh, so please elaborate on how tourists can get to Mahakulung and Sahone Cho, uh, especially from Kathmandu. Well, you have to first catch a jeep from Kathmandu to Bung, which is a beautiful place in Mahakulung. From there, you have to trek across the Honga River to reach Goodall. Afterwards, Saunicho is just five to six hours off hill walk from Goodall. Anyone who can walk will enjoy the trip to Saunicho. And yes, there is a flight option as well to Pablo from Kathmandu. And you can even fly to Tumling Tra. Then the trek can be started from Tumling Tra to Mahakulu. We have also come to learn about a newly opened Mundung Trail. In what ways do you think that are Sahone Cho and Mundung Trails different? As a matter of fact, the extension of Mudum Trail can be Silicho because geographically they are the same parts of the land. They are different in terms of itinerary but are similar in many ways, especially in terms of landscape and scale of difficulty. They are the same. How do you define Saune Cho trekking as a whole, sir? Uh, Saune Cho is a fitness trekking. The environment filled with peace and tranquility is so soothing for your spirits. There can be many things like recliding, marathon race, and sports can be done in Saune Cho right away. It takes time and I'm sure this place will get national recognition one day. I wish we could have more time together, but uh, we have come to the end of the show now. 
So if there is anything I forgot to ask about or anything else that you wanted to express to the viewers, uh, please, sir. Um, I would like to thank you for inviting me to the show and for giving me this beautiful opportunity to share a few things about tourism with my viewers. I request my viewers not to be lose the hope for the better life. Let's keep struggling through the pandemic. Nothing lasts forever, not even pandemic. So let's be optimistic about new normal life. Thank you so much for your valuable presence in the social. Pleasure to have been here. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. And namaste to you all.